Hi, this is PC Matthew. Our families need our prayers like never before as they are the target of many evil forces today. Join me and my wife Sibi in seeking God in repentance in this season of Lent as God wants us to be for him while we pray and seek him for our families. Day 23 Praying as families for orphans and widows. In Isaiah chapter 58 verse 7b emphasizes God's call for us to care for our own family members in need. In the early church the responsibility of supporting widows and orphans was often outsourced to the church even when they had relatives capable of providing care. Paul in his guidance to Timothy urged affluent family members to take care of their widows and orphans reserving the church's support for those without any familial assistance particularly individuals advanced in age around 60 years old the key message was clear the family holds the primary responsibility for caring for their widows in 1 Timothy chapter 5 and verse 8 Paul further underscores the importance of family responsibility stating that those who neglect their relatives especially within their own household have denied the faith and are worse than unbelievers This aligns with God's revealed heart through the prophet Isaiah emphasizing the role of the family in caring for their own widows The global impact of events like the COVID-19 pandemic has left many children orphaned and families struggling. Widows grappling with the loss of their breadwinners seek God's guidance on important decisions regarding remarriage or remaining single. Globally, there are 153 million orphaned children with 71 million in Asia and 59 million in Africa. War situations contribute to the increasing number of orphans, many of whom bear traumatic memories. Movements like the World Without Orphans encourage Christian homes to adopt children, recognizing the scriptural truth from Psalm 68 verse 6. that God places the lonely in families. James chapter 1 and verse 27 reminds believers of the pure and undefiled nature of religion which includes visiting orphans and widows in their affliction and maintaining moral purity. Widows and orphans often face loneliness, judgment and various forms of abuse making them vulnerable let us pray for these individuals close to god's heart asking for their families acceptance and support urging more christian homes to open up for orphans may every church actively address the needs of these individuals ensuring that none feel orphaned or neglected within the church community May God sensitize us to these pressing needs in our nations. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, defender of the fatherless and the widows, your heart desires that none feel alone or left out in this world. We pray for the safety and protection of every orphaned child surrounded by your amazing love and provision. Help us grasp the loneliness and pain experienced by widows, filling their hearts with your presence and love. As your church, may we diligently work towards creating a world that cares for orphans and widows in ways that honor you. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. We thank you for joining us in this podcast. We would love for you to join through Zoom for a 30 minute prayer at 4:30 p.m. IST or 11 a.m. GMT with friends from all over the globe.
to intercede for the issues that we just now heard. If you need any prayer support, please write to Family Prayer at uimfrti.org. I repeat, Family Prayer at uimfrti.org. God bless you.